In this video, I'll be talking about behaviorally compatible, energy efficient, and network aware vehicle plot tuning using connected vehicle technology. This work has been awarded by the National Science Foundation Cyber Physical Systems uh, to PIs Masood and Yin from the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at the University of Michigan. Connected vehicle or CV technology facilitates communications between vehicles, the infrastructure, and other road users. This allows vehicles to observe their surrounding environment beyond line of sight and enables a number of interesting applications that could improve safety and mobility in transportation systems. Our work focuses on a specific application of CV technology called vehicle platooning. A platoon is a single file line of vehicles that owing to constant communication are able to travel with very small gaps between them. Platoon formation can introduce many benefits including creating energy efficiency through reducing the aerodynamic resistance force on platoon members, increasing road capacity through reducing the headways between vehicles, facilitating real-time management of traffic and improving mobility by aggregating the unit of traffic from an individual vehicle to a cluster or platoon of vehicles, and finally reducing cost of freight transportation when adopted by the truck industry. In this project, we introduce a general framework for platoon formation. This framework is composed of an offline phase and an online phase. The offline phase accomplishes scheduled path planning. In this step, CV-enabled vehicles provide their trip information and receive itineraries that include the path, the schedule, and the speed profile they have to follow in order to merge into existing platoons or form new ones. This step is necessary because of the small fraction of vehicles that are equipped with the CV technology, at least in the short run, and the small penetration rate of trucks in the traffic stream in general since the trucking industry is considered to be one of the major users of the technology. After vehicles that were scheduled in the offline phase meet in the same link in the transportation network in real time, the online phase selects from a combinatorial number of platoons, one that satisfies two practical considerations. One, platoons have to be behaviorally stable. We will elaborate uh, on stable platoon formation later in the video. Second, platoons should be feasible to navigate. For this purpose, we develop a real-time trajectory planning algorithm. So let's delve a little deeper into the framework, starting with the offline phase and the scheduled path planning problem. We can formulate this problem as an optimization problem. Uh, to be more specific, this is an integer program uh, which has shown to be NP-hard. To make it more complicated, empirical experiments have suggested that the total fuel consumption function in a platoon is approximately concave. So minimizing a concave integer program is specifically uh, hard to do. However, uh, this problem is subject to a linear set of constraints. To be more specific, the set of constraints in this problem are similar to those in the mean cost flow problem and therefore are totally unimodular. That is, we can solve a relaxation of this problem and obtain integer solutions. And so what we do in this work is that we explore this property to develop customized, fast, and high quality algorithms. We develop two algorithms, one uh, based on an outer approximation uh, whose solution is improved using a local search, and the second is a dynamic programming algorithm. Now in this video, we can see an example of a grid network uh, where trucks are forming platoons and the size of the circles uh, represents the number of vehicles in a platoon. We can see that uh, the optimization problem can be solved quite fast for a moderate size problem. In the online phase, the first practical consideration is to form platoons that are behaviorally stable. First, platoons are not all born equally. The total energy efficiency experienced by a platoon depends on the structure of the platoon, uh, which is based on the number of vehicles in the platoon, the size of those vehicles, and the sequence of vehicles forming the platoon. Second, position matters. 
The energy efficiency that a single vehicle experiences depends on the vehicle's position in the platoon. In the simple example of a two-vehicle platoon presented here, if the truck serves as the platoon leader, the total energy efficiency of the system is 12%, but the truck obtains only a 2% energy efficiency. On the other hand, if the truck serves as a follower, then the total energy saving of a pl uh, the platoon reduces to only 5%, but the truck's uh, energy efficiency is higher than before. It's 4% now. This simple example demonstrates that selfish users may not maximize their utility by following the system optimal solution, and as such, incentive mechanisms need to be developed to redistribute the benefits uh, that are obtained among platoon members so as to ensure that all vehicles behave in a system optimal manner. We developed two mechanisms to determine the platoon formation and benefit reallocation. The first mechanism is a bargaining mechanism with a single random neighbor. And we show that in this case, 52% of benefits of a central authority can be obtained. In the second mechanism, we consider bargaining among multiple neighbors. And so bargaining with multiple neighbors to find a stable matching allows us to increase bump that 52% to 64% of benefits of a central authority. Finally, the second practical consideration in the online phase is that we have to make sure that platoons are feasible to navigate by vehicles. For this purpose, we develop an optimal control model. This animation shows how the optimal control model navigates the subject vehicle's trajectory on a local link. In this animation, the red line shows the average fuel consumption of the vehicles on the left lane, the black line shows the average fuel consumption of the vehicles on the right lane, and the blue line shows the fuel consumption of the subject vehicle, which is shown by a red rectangle. The optimal control model is provably safe, and it is used to search within the space of stable platoons for one that is feasible to navigate. To summarize, in this video we introduced platooning as one of the applications of CV technology that can increase energy efficiency in transportation systems. To successfully form platoons, we put forward a comprehensive framework with three major components. One, a number of customized algorithms to optimize vehicle itineraries by finding energy consumption minimizing path for them to follow. Second, a number of incentive mechanisms to redistribute the platooning benefits among platoon members to ensure the stability of the resulting platoons and consequently the continuous participations of users in the system. And third, an optimal control algorithm with platoon merging and splitting as well as lane changing capabilities to allow vehicles to navigate their ways into forming successful platoons. Finally, I would like to end this video by acknowledging the National Science Foundation for funding this project, Dr. Merdar Shahabi, doctoral students Xiao Tang San, Mushtaba Abdul Maliki, Xiang Lu, and Gong Chen Zhao. For further information about the project, please contact Nera Masood and Yafeng Yen.